Yesterday ends in a bear sell-off into the close following a bull rally and V-top. Today on the 30-minute chart, yesterday formed a V-top, but then rallied off a potential channel bottom. Today opens below the potential channel bottom and near the high of last month. Since V-tops and bottoms typically form in trading ranges, if the market makes a V-bottom today, then on the 30-minute chart, the market has established a new trading range. Today's context for the open, the market is opening near the high of last month, which is likely support, but also within the bear channel of yesterday. If the market breaks the bear trend channel above this level, look for a good signal bar to go long. Otherwise, look for a breakout and follow through below this monthly level. The first thing I ask myself during the open is, did the market open within the price action of yesterday? Today's example shows how to read the market when it opens within the tight bear channel of the previous day, and that tight bear channel is not part of a small trading range. If the market did not open within the bear channel going into yesterday's close, it would be reasonable to view today's open as a trading range and look for a good signal bar at the high of last month to go long. In general, it is never wise to trade counter trend until the trend channel line has been broken. This can be from a reversal move or even from the market going sideways. Or, in the case of the open, it can be from the market gapping up or down so that it leaves the price action going into yesterday's close. While you should not be looking for a high 2 in a bear trend, if you count high 2s and low 2s, you will notice that a trend often resumes after creating a second failure in the opposite direction. This is because on a smaller time frame, a failed high 2 is a double top and a failed low 2 is a double bottom. Today, the market triggered and then failed a high 2 before resuming the trend. The high 2 was failed by a low 2. Right from the open, the low 2 in the bear trend got triggered and the high of last month failed to hold support. Stop order short after seeing the breakout test, bar 8, close as a bear bar. Even though the bear channel had at least three pushes down, most trends slash channels are wedges, I personally took the low too short below bar 26, which was triggered by bar 27. I was stopped out by bar 29. I flipped to long using a stop order above bar 30, which is a good signal bar near the moving average. Most days do not have the open of the day as the high of the day or low of the day. Therefore, there is a high chance of the market breaking above the open of the day, which is also the open of the week. Stop order long above bar 49, which is a good signal bar at the 20 EMA and the high of last month for a test of open of the day. Bar 70 is a perfect double bottom with bar 49 in a trading range. It's reasonable to enter long on a stop order above it. Trade a small position size since it's late in the day. Exit your remaining position below bar 75, which is a second strong consecutive bear close. Bars 74 and 75 are a V top. Trading ranges usually form a V top or a V bottom before testing the other side of the trading range. 
Today ends in a bear channel into the close, but the bear channel is within a trading range, so both contexts are valid.